Welcome to Simply Shoebox's YouTube channel. Operation Christmas Child in the United States has a year-round shopping list to inspire and give you ideas. In June, it is toys, so I thought it might be interesting to share my current toy stash for packing Operation Christmas Child shoeboxes. I always like to see what other people have and get ideas and be inspired and just see all the fun stuff. So, in two of my old gold boxes, we already have somewhat sorted into boxes, these are obviously not full, just to get an idea of what we have and where we're at and how they're going to fit. Um, one thing we have this year for two to four year old girls and boys are these puzzles we got at, these are actually Toys R Us, and they're just really cute and colorful and we like them, they don't take up much room. And I found this cute skull bus and three little cow dolls in a bag, that was at Bargain Hunt, and I thought that was really cute. And this one has one of those puzzles, too. And these dolls, I think these were also from Toys R Us. Um, my mom will probably make clothes or a blanket or something to go with them. And this is the 2 to 4 old boy box. This is how we organize our stuff. Lots more of the puzzles. A couple board books. Animal figures. Floaty boats. Little toll sets. Just random fun little things. Well, actually, not very little. Actually, you may be seeing this train thing going, how in the world is that fitting in a shoebox? Well, I did a test, and it actually does fit, actually, in these green plastic shoeboxes Operation Christmas Child is offering now, and with enough room to put other, the school supplies and hygiene items and other fun stuff. We mainly focus on 2 to 4 and 10 to 14 because 5 to 9 tends to get the most, but we do a few 5 to 9, too. I have a couple little finger puppets I got when I walked in cubbies and never really used and thought I would go ahead and donate. I don't know if I'm doing those two to four, five to nine. Have this, I've got this. I'm really excited about it. And you're going, you can't send liquid. No, you can't. But, and that's way too big. Yes, it is. But you can break it up and go in these little kits and they have, this is a gorilla and it has a little scene to play in. And foam airplane like things that are actually butterflies and I made some printable instructions to send it them so they knew how to play with them. So we just now only do five to nine whenever we can find really good deals and really exciting items. These I think were like ten cents or something at on clearance and they wind up I don't know what I want to do now. But anyway they wind up and do well that'd be a fun thing for a kid. Um some pals my grandparents found on clearance. 3D dinosaur puzzle. Simple card game. Tic-tac-toe game. Jump ropes. I don't know if this counts as a toy or a skull item, but it was a magnifying bug bucket. It looked really cool, so I got it. I'll, of course, fill it up with other stuff so it doesn't take up too much room. Then for 10 to 14 old balls, I have a couple of these dolls left I got a couple of years ago. Frisbees, more cars, foam plane, cicada wooden puzzle, um, jump ropes, Lego type toys. I don't know if this is really a toy or what this would qualify as, but, um, had some, my aunt found me some of these mini little cross stitch kits for my galls. Um, the boys have, 10 14 boys have some yo-yos, monkey puzzle, big cold truck thing that when you take it all apart will fit in a box. But it's, you have to build it anyhow. Home, files again, a lot of the same stuff as the galls. Um, we have Hot Wheels have their own bucket. And we can use those in whatever ages and whatnot we want to. Um, Surrounds Falls also puts our musical toys in, so here's our musical box. We have whistles on strings, and whistles not on strings for little kids, and jingle bell necklaces, and little tambourines or whatever, and harmonicas, and macarenas, and blowout toys, whatever these things are called. And then we have a box of really tiny little things to put in at the end and in holes. You can see we have tops, we have animal figurines, more animal figurines, little wobble duckies, just all sorts of fun little things we like to have at the end to fill up our room and not take too much 
space, but have lots of toys. And then finally, our balls. We have some little footballs. Got those at Oriental Trading. Some tennis balls. Those are probably our favorite, but they're hard to find good deals on. Miscellaneous balls. Cute little kickball animals. Training softballs and these like ball pit balls are actually a lot fun to play with than you think. And they're great for little kids because they can't hold themselves on them. So that's what toys we have for Shoebox this year. What toys have you gotten do you like to send?